I'm working on this molar. There's an abscess on the back. There's also an abscess on the front. The abscess on the back, I broke that open so I can go back and get it again. So what I want to do is finish off this abscess in the back and then also do this abscess on the front. The one on the front's real sore. Largely what I do is I try to work around the subject. I want to get the whole area clean anyway. I think it might be time to liberate the one in the front too. I could let it bleed a little bit more. I think it's going to stay open. Let's go to the one in front. Let's liberate that one too. See, I'm just going to use the langer. See, so now the way it turned out is that Huh, this one doesn't want to go up. That by doing everything else except the abscess, I got the abscess anyway. It looks like the front is giving itself up too. This is one of those very, very, very sensitive. Okay, let's come in from the, the sensitive side. I'm, I'm confused. Came in like this. And it looks like still is a very sensitive area. It doesn't quite seem as precious. Dual abscesses breaking, front and back. Going in the front, I want to get a lower definitive here. So I got to get rid of whatever. Just, as long as it's bleeding, I can't say for sure I liberated the one in front. See, so yeah, you can see the one in the back is definitely liberated. The one in the front's more questionable. How I get that to come loose in some sort of definitive way, that's an issue as well. It looks like largely I did. Okay, I'm going to do that some more. Okay, what I'm going to do for the front abscess, I'm going to still use the langer. I just don't feel like getting brutal, really. At least not right now. Okay, I got down to level, largely. But coming at it from the other side, and then right here in this corner, yeah, so you can see it right there. It's hard to say. Oh, see right here in this corner, right there, right there. Oh, 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 there. See, there's a piece right there. Not a big one, but that's part of this corner construction. Now it goes into his little, it does this little pain thing. Like, you know, you hurt me. You know, I don't know. It does, it does hurt. If I do it again right away, it'll let it subside. Just stick this thing in there. Just like that. Just agitate. Just like that. Look, there's another one. Another big nasty. So it looks like my concern was in the front. It looks like the the big abscess was in the back. The front may still prove to be a big abscess. So I go down into its territory. I find this very, very delicate, very sore edge. Very gentle. I pull up. It resists. I get pain. Looks like I got a little piece. Maybe from that, maybe from something else. But in any case, what happens is, I'm not sure if the, the front one's loosened up yet either. Anyway, like I said, the, the, the original concern was the front abscess. 
I surrounded the front abscess. I wanted to try to get as much as the tooth as I can, so almost as a source of procrastination. I went to the back, started getting the back. Turned out there was an abscess back there that was pretty big. I definitely want to get the front abscess, but it's still very sensitive. Now, what will tend to happen, see there's just this one little, but this is what it feels like. It feels like there's a very small, or just exactly what, there's something in the front that's blocking it. I can't say for sure if I think the front ab abscess is still being blocked. Uh, I can't say completely for sure because it, I, I don't have a strong indication of that abscess bleeding itself out. Certainly not like the back. So, and then I also have this thing there that's blocking it. So, I've largely isolated it. This is what we could do. Here. Okay, that's it. Okay. Nice little piece. I went, I didn't quite go the deepest part. I went a little higher up. Got a nice little grip. Pulled that thing up. Nice little piece. Okay, so I'm going to try to smooth my way down to the, 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 the deep area. And then it should start to give itself up if it hasn't already. I think it already is. Let's do that again. Just smooth. Use the jaw. Hey, hey, oh, ooh, it hurts. Yeah, maybe that's the nerve. See? Maybe that's that, that troublesome nerve. So, you know, you don't, you definitely don't go after that thing directly, that's for sure. Try to stick with the calculus. Stay away from the pain. To stick with the tooth. And fortunately that complicates matters. Basically there's a nerve that runs right between these two teeth. Okay? Now if the nerve gets damaged, what it does is this part goes numb. Usually it's not permanent. As long as it's not severely damaged. So, you know, what can I tell you? Very, very dicey. So that might be the reason why right next to that calculus it hurts so much. It's not the tooth nerve, that's the mandible nerve. Okay, so let's do it again, see? Okay, so, see it also means I can't go fishing around much in that area either because of that. Yeah, it looks like that's starting to go too. Looks like they're both going. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm going along the edge of the tooth in the front of the molar. I'm attempting to dislodge the calculus from both sides. Unfortunately the nerve is also being affected. I haven't done anything seriously damaging that I, I could say. And then what happens now, certainly the back one, it wants to bleed some and I want to try to help it. And what you can figure is going to happen is that this will bleed for up to several hours. And then once it bleeds clean, then that means a good portion of, you know, you can't say for sure, it's not like completely gone, but it's definitely a good start. If I can do any cleanup, that's a good thing too. But see, there's like a giant blob, but the, you know, more important than the scraping are these giant blobs. And now these could be blood. See, these could be big blobs of blood that have gone in and coagulated rather than things that were there before. But you could look at it this way. In the process of co coagulating, they absorbed nasty things. It certainly looks ugly now, but once it stops bleeding, it's not going to look so ugly. And then this nerve, I just have to be real careful. You know, I just have to be so careful. And, you know, I haven't hit the nerve before, so it's not like I'm, you know, I'm getting all this pain and I'm, I'm attacking the pain. You know, I kind of thought maybe that was the abscess, but I think maybe now that, that was the nerve. Can I go back to the tooth? There, there's another block. I don't know what to do. One thing to figure on the nerve, if I clean the area out, I don't know what to do. Let's take a look. Let's go on. Let's check it out on the internet. Okay, here's a here's a few more blobs. Here, let's take a look. Okay, here are two more, three more major blobs. So let's check out this nerve. 